Okay, a few weeks ago, I made a video about the autocomplete feature of WordFast Classic. Now, autocomplete has been further fine-tuned, and I'm going to tell you about the improvements in the new style autocomplete. But first, let's have a look at the shortcomings of the old style autocomplete. Here, I'm using WordFast Classic version 6.03c. In Setup AC, I have all autocomplete options enabled. In Translation Memory MT, I have selected all three machine translation sources Google, Microsoft, and Wordlingo. So let's open the first segment to be translated in this sample document. Now I got three machine translation suggestions and I can see the first shortcoming of the old style autocomplete feature. In the case of long segments such as this one, the empty suggestions do not fit inside the AC box. If I want to see them entirely, I have to copy them to the target segment, like this, which means I can only see one at a time. Now, if I start typing my own translation, the empty suggestions disappear, which is expected. If I want to see them again, I have to use the home key, like this, which means the cursor is at the beginning of the segment. If I want to continue typing, I have to use the end key to move back to the end of the segment. This is the second shortcoming of the old style autocomplete. Now when autocomplete suggestions are displayed, they overlap the next segment in my document, which can be a problem from a context point of view. It is often useful to know what comes next when translating the current segment. So this is a third shortcoming of the old style autocomplete. It overlaps the next segments. Now let's see how these shortcomings were addressed in the new style autocomplete. Here, I'm using WordFast Classic version 6.03J. In Setup AC, I have the same autocomplete options as before, except for this one, which lets me define the font and font size I want to use in the AC box. When I open my first segment, I see three machine translation suggestions, as expected. But I can now see the entire segments, as the new style autocomplete supports line wrapping. I can also see the next segments in my document, as the AC box does not overlap them. Now if I start typing my own translation, the AC box disappears but I can recall them using the escape key, which means my cursor stays at the same place and I don't need to press another key to get back to the edited point. In addition, the new style autocomplete should be much faster and should solve the speed problem some people were having with the old style autocomplete. And there's also good news for Mac users, the new style autocomplete now works exactly as in Word for Windows. I will make a separate video about it. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more similar content. And see you in the next video.